But the first one I got is, are you enjoying the training? Are you enjoying working with us in the 30 and 30 reloaded group? Oh, uh, yeah. I wouldn't be on this call right now if I wasn't in enjoying the training. The training's wonderful. Um, it's very seamless and easy. Um, the motivation that I get from the guys behind the scenes in uh, 30 and 30 reloaded is just, you know, when I'm having a couple bad days in a row and I'm not selling anything and I see guys, you know, putting up twos and threes, that just gets me fired up and motivated to be like, well, you know, my guys in the group are doing it. I know I can, you know, I've put up twos and threes. Let's get it going. So, so, you know, their, their motivation and their successes help motivate me to be more successful. And there's a so, lot, of, you know, a lot of guys back here that do some big, that are doing some big numbers that do in two, three, four. I think we had someone back the other day that did five, which was pretty five, cool to see. Yeah, but, uh, five. Yeah. Awesome. Excellent. What do you think is, uh, so far, what are the biggest results you've got from the 30 and 30 Reloaded program? Well, um, for those that don't know, I'm, I'm a green pea. I'm in my first six months. Uh, no sales experience, no sales training ever, uh, except for your normal, you know, selling myself and all my other jobs. Um, I went from like seven, nine cars to consistently um, top three on the leaderboard at my other store. I was putting up 13 to 14 cars every month. Um, I just switched over to a Ford dealership. And uh, in my first seven days working, or first eight days of actual working, I have six cars out. Um, so I, I've been up really good here. Um, I, got, I got a great dealership, and, and, and it's just making me that much more highly motivated now that I feel like I got a great dealership to go along with the great training program that I do. Awesome. What do you uh, – you know, there's some guys on the fence out there. There's always some – there's some guys that uh, they're skeptical or they think – Why the would you on the fence? Right? Well, they, they need to stop being on the fence, uh, step up, man up, jump over the fence, and, and make something to themselves. If they want to be stuck on the fence, you're going to be stuck on the fence, teeter-tottering, going nowhere. I decided I, I'm going to kick through the fence. I'm going to knock the fence over. I'm going to bull my way through, and, and I'm going to make a name for myself. Everyone's going to know who Eddie Stefan is in my mind. I'm going to brand myself so proper with the training and skills that I've gotten that, you know, anyone that doesn't join the program – you know, if, if you're hesitant and you think maybe it can, maybe it can't, well, maybe you should just jump on it, join it. And if it doesn't work for you, then, then you can make your own decision. But, you know, for me, anyone that's on that fence, man, don't, don't teeter-totter on the fence. Knock that fence over. Make something happen for yourself because you won't regret it. But it's on you. You have to put the effort in. Nobody else. What's your, uh, what's your single biggest takeaway in the 30-30 Reloaded program, your favorite thing? My favorite thing is learning how to ask proper questions. I was not a good question asker, and, and I was too scared to ask for the sale. And having guys be like, you know, just, just ask for it. I noticed when I had the willingness to ask for the sale, the sales started to come more. Um, the sales, because of being able to ask better questions, I have yet to write a deal. Out of all the deals at my new dealership, I have not written a deal for a loss yet. And I've gotten high regard compliments for that because I, I'm not only making good checks for myself, which is great, um, but I'm making the dealership money. I'm making management money. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm asking the questions that get me to the best possible output, the best deal. Um, and, and it's making my, ca my customers that much more happy in themselves. So it's just making everyone else more money. So asking the right questions is one of the big things I had to learn because I was terrible at it. All right. And the last question. Would you recommend it? What uh, what other benefits do you think it's got for you? And what else do you want to add? What do you want to add to the people out there? The benefits for me was, uh, besides the obvious, um, more money that I've made since doing it. Um, the benefits is, one, I'm a lot happier now. Um, I came to a decision to leave a dealership, um, you know, and that was through working with you guys and learning more about the industry. Um, to realize how unhappy I was, so I moved to a new dealership, and now I'm extremely ecstatic of where I'm at. Um, and the benefit for me is I, I feel a lot more confident. Um, I have guys that have asked me, man, how long you been selling cars? You sound like you've been doing this for years. And then I kind of laugh and say I'm in my first six months, and they, they kind of don't believe me. Um, but it's my confidence, um, my ability to answer the right – or ask the right questions – um, everything about the program to me has value. Uh, I started out with the lead, lead generating lead generation hacks for like nine bucks. Saw so much value in it. Saw my numbers jump up. I pretty much bought every program um, right when it came out. So I mean, you already, you already know you don't got to sell me. I'm uh, whatever so you're doing. I'm on it. It's safe to say that um, you'd recommend this to people. 
Oh, yeah, highly. I mean, uh, I, like I said earlier, I wouldn't be doing this cast right now if I didn't recommend something. Um, I, re I recommend it to anyone. Uh, it, it, even if you're a 10-car guy, a 5-car guy, I don't care if you're a 30-car guy, with Mark's training and, and your willingness to do the training and learn, um, you can become that 20-car guy or that 40, 50-car guy. Um, there, there's so much information in here. It's, it's really made me evolve to become the person that I know I was destined to become. With that being said, man, I want you to get back out, move some metal. I appreciate you. Yeah, I got to move. Uh, got to move three units tonight. Got my three appointments. I appreciate you having me on here, Mark. Take care, yeah. brother.